Right, so uh, those that saw my recent video will know that I've got uh, a W8 VW Passat as a courtesy car uh, from VRS. And behind me here, we'll talk about this young lad in a second. Um, yeah, and I thought I need to get this car on my channel. I want to do a whole dedicated video on it. I find it very cool, this car. It's got a W8 engine. It's very unique, it's very rare. But how can I make this video a little bit more interesting? And today is um, Daddy and Kai Day. Yeah, mm -hmm. is that what it is? Yeah. It's school summer holidays, isn't it? Yeah. And I thought a, a way that we can make this video a little bit more interested, interesting is if we throw in a seven-year-old petrol head. <laughs> And the best way to do that, I think, is by throwing in a seven-year-old petrol head, yeah? So it is currently the school summer holidays. It ain't very sunny, though. Um, me and Kai are just out and about doing boy stuff. We're going to pick up the M4. Yes. And all that kind of stuff, yeah? Yes. And we're going to do a video on the W8 Passat, yeah? Yes. You want it? You ready? Yes. Right, let's get into the intro. Show you the car. Introduce it to Kai properly and uh, talk about why this car is so bloody special. Right, so it's a 2003 uh, VW Passat, uh, Japanese import, as you can see from the square plate. See that, Kai? Square number plate, yeah? That's because in Japan they have square number plates. And at the bottom there we've got VRS Northampton. That's like what? I think they're proper cool. What do you think? You know in England we have like rectangle number plates. You know that, yeah? A bit like this car here. Look, it's got rectangle number plates, yeah? See, with us we've got... BMW. BMW, yeah, you know about BMWs. But with this car, it's got square plates, yeah? Um, obviously it's a W8 Kai, right? This is what's really interesting about this car. And I do want to explain to you what a W8 is because... Um, First, when we start the car, it talks in... When we start the car, it talks in what? It talks in, in Japanese when we start the car. We'll show them that in a second, yeah? Is that your impression of your... Is that your Chinese accent? Yes. Okay, all right. So WA is literally two Vs, right? So we're going to talk about cylinders and stuff in a second, Kai. I need to explain to you what a WA engine is and how it works, all right? We'll do that when we get in the car in a sec, but it's literally two Vs. I know a lot of you watching will know what that's all about. Uh, but yeah, interesting stuff. This was basically the base engine. Let's put the bonnet. Kai, we're going to get under the bonnet because we need to show everyone the engine. Because as soon as I saw this car, the first thing I wanted to see was the engine. Are you excited about seeing the engine, Kai? You've already seen it, ain't you? Yeah? What? When you, when you open the thing, the, like, the handles are so tiny. Like, the handles are tiny, okay. That is Kai's review of the door handles. Hulu, yeah? Right, Kai. Yeah. Under the bonnet, the W8 engine, right? It is essentially a V4 and a V4. So within an engine, you've got pistons. Uh, within the pist pistons sit within cylinders. Uh, do you know what? We'll do this talk when we get in the car in a sec. Yeah, we'll, we'll explain to you because this, this is complicated stuff. Do you know what? You're a clever kid though, aren't you? You are a clever kid to be fair. You will get it. Uh, but there is the wonderful W8 engine. It's a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be. Um, I envisioned it to be... I'm talking about the engine guys, by the way. Uh, but yeah, it is a big lump of an en engine. Eight cylinders. And when you start the engine, we'll do that right now. Start the engine. Japanese. You hear the, oh, you want to hear the Japanese talking, yeah? Listen. Did you hear that? Should we do that again? Yeah. Where did it come from? Yeah. No idea what that says, but this interior is beautiful. It is mint. It's done 75,000 kilometers. Starts. I love, I love you love the steering wheel, yeah? I do really like that steering wheel, and in fact, Kai, that steering wheel, I'm pretty sure Volkswagen Sats normally don't have that steering wheel. So that particular shape, this style, I'm not sure, not, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure that is unique to the W8, but I'm not certain, all right? It's got sunroof as well. Daddy loves a sunroof, doesn't he? Yeah, do you like a sunroof? We might even get that open when we go for a drive. Uh, but yeah, back under the bonnet. Come on, let's go have a little look under the engine. 
how smooth is that engine? This is one of the most smooth driving cars I've ever driven. It drives, it just floats along the road, doesn't it, Kai? Yeah? It's a nice car. It's also got four exhausts at the back. Should we go around to the back, Kai? Oh, holy hell, that is... Kai, are you capable of revving that engine? Yes, yeah? Of course you are. You know how to rev an engine, don't you? Go on. I've had one time before, and never, like... You know what? Right. You want to lift it? The no. right pedal, yeah? In Get in there. Give it a rev and I'm gonna wait one second, don't do it just yet. Slowly, slowly, right? Right, go on, give it a rev. Listen to that. Go again. Again. That'll do, Kai. Nice job, mate. Well done. That was good. That was wicked. Right, have a little hula hoop. Uh, one, mm, one more go, yeah? Go for it, mate. That's enough, that's enough. We were gonna save petrol, yeah? So it sounds amazing, it looks the part. Got a WA engine under the bonnet, which we've talked enough about, but we are going to talk a bit more about that in a second. And um, Kai, are you having a good day off, yeah? <laughs> School summer holidays, all right, innit? What we'll do now is we'll jump in. I need to talk to you more about the WA engine, all right? Jump in. That's recording, Kai. That is recording. Mm. Right, so you're ready for an engine lesson, yeah? So you know what pistons are, yeah? Mm. So there is pretty much three different types of engines Kai, right there's an inline engine where all the cylinders are in line yeah like runs up ones and like so like so yeah four wheels for a reason because 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 it's like if i imagine it being built well there so there's like there's a, like a big metal line that goes through there and then that's what drives the car yeah yeah let's just talk about the engine though yeah so there's an inline engine mm -hmm where all the cylinders are in line. There's a flat engine. Porsches have flat engines where the cylinders are oh. laid flat. Okay. I, I will put you. pictures on screen so you lot are in up to date. I know you lot know anyway, but I'm trying to explain to a seven year old. And <laughs> there is a V engine, yeah? Where the cylinders are, sh are shaped like a V, yeah? Now there are other engines oh. like a rotary engine and W engines. Now this is Volkswagen's first W engine, yeah? So it's a W, oh. so which means it's two Vs. Yeah, a, a Daddy, V on each side. Daddy, what does the Bugatti engine have? Good question, Kai. That is the best question yeah. you could have asked. Well done. Why? Because this engine was built as a test engine, as a base platform for the Bugatti Veyron engine. So this engine under this bonnet is an early version of the Bugatti Veyron engine. But the Bugatti Veyron engine has four turbos. Yeah, this has no turbos. And it also has... 16 cylinders, Kai. So this has got eight cylinders. That has 16 cylinders. So, but Bugatti Veyron had that much. How much does the Bugatti Chiron have, though? Same all. Same size engine, but it has 400 more horsepower. I think, I think about Bugatti Veyron's a thousand brake horsepower, and the Chiron is 1400 brake horsepower. Do you know how much horsepower this engine is? No. Yes. Yes. 275 brake horsepower, so it's nowhere near as much as the Bugatti Veyron, but it's still quite a lot of power yeah. for that engine. It's a four liter engine, which is a big engine, yeah? So basically that is half of a Bugatti Veyron engine, literally, literally. I think that's fair to say that, guys, yeah? So this was the engine they built to develop the Veyron engine car, yeah? Mm -hmm. So that is why this car is so special. Like a Volkswagen Passat, it's quite a nice car. It's comfortable in here, isn't it? Yeah. It's quite a nice car, but they're just normal cars, right? Yeah. But this particular one, because it has that engine under the bonnet, that makes this car extremely special, all right? Mm -hmm. It's very rare, it's very cool, and that's why these lot probably want to see it on my channel, yeah? And they probably want to see it drive as well, don't they? Yeah. So should we take it for a drive? So you kind of understand the whole VW flat? Yeah. You understand all of that now, yeah? I think I've done a pretty good job for explaining that. Yeah. We have also got a draggy box today, guys, because uh, I am going to do 20 to 70 mile an hour times. So we need to get it on the draggy leaderboards. Uh, Kai, for that, for you obviously you don't know, that basically records our speeds, all right? Oh, does it? Yeah, so we'll do that as so well. It's like in um, Santipod where like, you record your. Mate, you're just too clever, aren't you? Mm -hmm. You need a funny hour. The kids mm -hmm. just pick up on everything. So, yeah, we are heading over to VRS now. Obviously, you would have seen the video when I collected the M4 from VRS. Uh, this video is a dedicated video to the WA engine in this process. Let's hit the road, yeah? You can have some watermelon, we'll go. Right, so we are now floating down the road in the um, Bugatti Veyron. I mean, cool. <laughs> Volkswagen Passat. I wish it was Veyron. Yeah. Um, but that would be cool, wouldn't it? 
One day, maybe. Yeah. Probably, probably in a few years. I'll have to tell everything. Everything. Well, I don't even think even then. But anyway, uh, yeah, there's a Phaeton there. VW Phaeton car. That car actually came with a W12 engine. Can't believe there's a VW Phaeton. This is like this is just meant to be. That came with a W12 engine, which was the same engine that was in the uh, Bentley Continental GT. What did that need to be? Bentley is um, it's a cool car. I actually had one when you was a baby, but you probably wouldn't remember. Uh, but yeah, so the first thing I noticed when I drove this car, Will actually pointed it out to me when we picked it up, is how smooth the engine is, right? He said, Cal, look how smooth that engine runs. And it does run so smooth. And if you, have you noticed quite how peaceful this car is? It's so, yeah. it's proper. Well, I just noticed. It's proper smooth, isn't it? It's like, it's not, not like any rumbles or anything, just like smooth. Just floating down. Onto the ground. It's nice, isn't it? So this is a 2003 car, like I mentioned earlier. It's obviously got a private plate on it. Um, it's, I think it's private. Wheel... Private plate. Private plate. A eleven something. Yeah, it's quite a cool private plate. Yeah. Um, yeah. And um, what I was gonna say is this: this is a facelift car. So they had a, obviously the pre-facelift weren't quite as attractive. I think this ain't a bad looking car. It looks all right, doesn't it, Kai? Yeah. It looks good in black, doesn't it? With the cream leather. Yeah. Mm. Uh, facelifts. I think they changed the headlights, rear lights. That's about it. The interior, let's quickly talk about the interior of this car. It's quite a nice place to be, isn't it, Kai? Lever has worn really, well, I suppose it's only done 75,000 kilometers, which is really good. This car actually came to the country in 2017. I find that quite interesting. Not sure what the history was like in Japan, but um, it seems like a well looked after car. Uh, well, probably when I go to like, probably when they go to like year three or four. I'll, I'll probably tell you about it because I probably might be learning about it. Yeah. So yeah. I'm probably. Right, so what year are you going to be in when you get back then? Year school? three. Year three, yeah? Well, in year three they learned about the Romans and stuff. So I might learn about um, Japan in year four. You, never, you might learn about WA engines, but you'll know everything about them, wouldn't you? Mm-hmm. So when was your, when's your birthday anyway, Kai? January. Ja- the 23rd. 23rd? Do you know what year you was born? Mm, January. No, what year? You don't know what year, do you? Yes. 2014. 2014 you was born. 2014. Wow. A hell of a year that was, I tell you. Um, but what I was going to say is, what's your favourite car, Kai? Let's talk about you. This is the Kai Show. The Kai mm-hmm. Show. <laughs> what's your favourite car? Come on, if you could have, if or if Daddy could come home tomorrow in any car, what car would you like to go in tomorrow? It would definitely be a car that you had, like, on the roof. What car? Come on. It's going to be any car. It's going to be something from old what you used to have or from big car. Mm. I'm going to suggest... Mm. Right, it's hard to listen. Um, our two guesses are the the GTR big car, the grey GTR The grey GTR, the 1000 brake horsepower one? Yep. That or, was crazy, wasn't it? Or... Mm. Or, you, or you can just maybe get... Get, maybe try to try to get, get a McLaren enough. Another McLaren? Yes. You love McLaren, don't you? I actually like, um, I, I love Leon's car better than McLaren. You like Leon's car better than McLaren? Yes. Really? BMW i8, yeah? You love Leon's car, don't you? Yeah. It is cool. That's interesting. Do you think I should get a w, uh, an i8 or sh- just Leon can have one, can't he? Your choice. What about the M4? Come on, mate, you forgot about oh, man. You forgot about the M4, didn't you? Yeah. Right, so what else can we say about um, the Passat? I have done draggy times in this car, and I can tell you that it done 20 to 70 mile an hour in 7.7 seconds. I will do a few more runs when I ain't got Kai in the car, and if I'd managed to do it any quicker than that, I will put it on the screen. It weren't a great run. I literally just done one, uh, so I, I can imagine that I will definitely beat that. Is but so that, far, 7.7. Um, that is Ermac, yeah. That's Daddy's friends, isn't it? I'm at barbecue in Dunstable. Shout out to them. I wish I can go there, but I could be like, I could be like, what age? You gotta be 18 to go to Ermac 18. Lounge because they smoke shisha in there. That's why, and children aren't allowed to be around that stuff. I wish apparently. I could. I, I just saw the video about it. It just looks so cool. It looks cool there. Doesn't I it? wish I could be in there. There you go, Ermac. Great ad from Kai. Anything else you want to say about Ermac? It's actually Ermac Lounge. Anything else you want to say? It's cool. That's it. It's just cool. There's nice food. Nice food. Well done. We actually get takeaways from there, don't we? Yeah. I so, 
the purpose of this video was to try to um, teach Kai a bit about engines, show you lot the W8 cassette, and I think we've done it, haven't we? <laughs> Do you think we've done it, Kai? Yep. Have you learned a lot today? So a W yeah. engine is basically two Vs put together. That's yeah. it. And the uh, Passat is super smooth. It sounds amazing. I would love to put a big exhaust on this car because I think it would sound wonderful. Let's have a little listen. Because it sounds already just sound perfect. Sounds perfect, doesn't it? Mm. I think that it does sound really nice. It's quite smooth, but you can hear that sort of eight cylinder roar. It sounds really good. But with an exhaust, mate, this car would sound absolutely amazing. But it's not mine, so I can't do nothing to it. Is it? It's not yours. Do you like? No, it's VRS's. Oh, yeah. Me. All right, so I think what we'll do now, we are now heading up to Northampton Wait, to pick up my, my M4. Oh yeah, two red, uh, they're not the same. One's a Fiesta, one's a Corsa. Very, oh. very similar, uh, but not the same. But well spotted. Good. Kai, do you like cars? Yes. You like cars. Do you like football? Mm -hmm. uh, do you like cars or football better? That's a tough question. Cars. Do ya? Cool, man, good answer. All right, so we are going to leave it as that. Uh, what else can I say about the car just before we go? We've got a sunroof, I mentioned that. We've got heated seats, which uh, I like, and four doors. I like the size of this car, I think that's worth mentioning. I love a saloon car. And it's practical, and the but it ain't too big. And you didn't tell me to say cars that I like better, did you? I didn't actually tell you to say that, did I? You actually said that yourself. But you have begun really liking cars lately, which is quite cool, for, especially for me. Like, Imagine having a little boy and he loves cars so and by the way when um i remember the day of this you know we won't even go into that forget about that no tesla anyone out there scared of having any kids and i remember when my, that is a tesla well done i remember when I my missus told me she's pregnant with a kid and i was like oh god but you know what it's cool isn't it right uh gonna leave it as that thank you very much for watching Hit like if you like this video. Hit subscribe for a new video every Wednesday and Sunday at six o'clock. Um, if you're on Instagram, give me a follow on Instagram at Calvin's Car Diary. And Kai, have you got anything to say before we go? Um, you enjoyed it. You like being on YouTube, don't you? Um, like and subscribe or else. Or else. Or else what? Or else. Think about it. Or else something under a bed will come to you at night. A monster under the bed come at you at night if you don't subscribe and like the video okay so a monster will come out of your bed and get you if you don't like and subscribe all right we want to see a couple of thousand likes please and uh that's it we're done yeah yes. bye <laughs> in the next episode of diary of car trader so those who follow me on instagram or tiktok would already know that i just bought this 60 year old land rover series 2 this car is an absolute old banger but it's surprisingly valuable and i've got this proper funny video going live and i cannot wait to show you like it i'll have it live this coming sunday at six o'clock all right i'll see you then <laughs>